Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming two haul videos. I'm just gonna split this big haul video up into two parts because I think that'll make it a little bit easier for you guys to sit through. So I like to do monthly hauls and since I was back from being home in Sri Lanka, I kind of lost track of things and I'm still trying to gather my stuff together. I had a really good system where I used to just keep everything in a basket and then I would just show you guys in a haul at the end of the month but right now I'm so backed up on that so I'm thinking once June ends July will be like a new start for me and there's still a little bit of June left so it's gonna be tough and now they moved the launch of the Jaclyn Hill palette to who knows when or the vault I guess so who knows when that's gonna happen it's just a whole bunch of things anyway I'm gonna do two videos because these get a little bit long and I kind of want you guys to see everything I got because some of this stuff I have worn, so I'm ready to give you guys like mini little reviews. I tend to do a lot of eyeshadow palette reviews on my channel. That's just my favorite kind of makeup to review. So, you know, this way I can kind of throw in reviews of other products I've been trying out. So, if you're interested in that, just keep watching. Also, really quick, I do want to let you know I have a small Instagram giveaway going on. So, if you do follow me on Instagram, please go ahead and enter that giveaway. I just want to give back to my friends on Instagram. I don't usually do any Instagram giveaways, so this is kind of exciting. I will throw up a picture so you guys can see what you can win. Please go ahead and enter that. I would really appreciate it. And also, if you could get some of your friends to follow me, that would be awesome as well. Uh, this is our cat Mori, who just came to say hi. Usually I don't film with the door open, but my husband's not home and uh, he came in to say hello. So you might hear the pets in and out. The other thing I do wanna mention as well, these earrings are Forever 21. My lip color is Jeffree Star Masochist, I believe. It actually is not a color I wear very often, so I just grabbed it and put it on. My eyeshadow is the new Violet Voss palette, the Flamingo palette, I think it's called. And my foundation is the new ColourPop foundation. Highlight is the new Pat McGrath highlighting palette. Um, so that's everything. I'm going to stop blabbering now and show you guys what I bought. First item I bought, and I've already done a little swatch party on this, is the Jeffree Star Equality Mini Bundle. Now he has a nude one and a red one, and I have most of his nudes in full size, so I didn't feel like I needed to buy that. And I don't wear a lot of red, nor do I really wear shades like this, but I just loved the presentation of this little set so much that I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I'm really like... So into rainbow theme right now. I even have like a rainbow, um, like a rainbow playlist on my channel. I was like, why don't I have a rainbow playlist? So I have a rainbow playlist now on my channel in case any of you guys are ever wondering about rainbow products. But how cute is this? I love the presentation of this and I think it's beautiful and I think it's great that they, you know, collaborated on this and are raising some money for um, the LGBTQ community in um LA or California I'm not quite sure but I love that guy and I'm, I'm gonna treasure that thing forever another thing I picked up this is kind of a random item this has been on my Sephora loves list forever and I've been trying so hard to shop that I finally just caved and got this I have really 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 dry feet and Marlena from Makeup Geek her channel she does these like monthly obsession videos and a long time ago she talked about this foot whatever scraper thing and it's really pricey this is like close to 60 bucks so I put it off put it off put it off and my feet are so dry right now I couldn't take it anymore I bought it I'm sorry it doesn't it's not clean guys I used it <laughs> as soon as I got it I pulled it out of the box and I used it and it actually worked really freaking well so I'm glad I picked this up if you guys want the link I'll try and remember to link all the stuff down below usually I do forget so if you want the link, let me know. Otherwise, you can just look it up. Sephora um, Diamond Foot Buffer File number 11. Um, so, yeah, I really like this guy. And she linked it in her video back in the day. And actually, I've gotten a few things off of, like, different websites that she had put in these, like, videos that she makes. And they've been really good. Like, if you guys have watched her videos, um, if you've seen that Amazon um, set of sheets that she recommended, oh my gosh, me and my husband have been using those sheets for um, more than like a year now for sure. I want to say like a year and a half and they're fabulous and they're so affordable. So if I remember, 
I'll try and link those as well. So yeah, just a little tip about her videos. They are super, super helpful. Now, you guys know I'm not a huge supporter of Morphe, but I got so sick of hearing people talking about this setting mist and the fact that it is in an aerosol can. So I bought it. This is their continuous setting mist. And yeah, basically everyone makes a big deal about it because it is in an aerosol can. So I am so weird because when I get new stuff, I'm like, no, I don't want to use it. So I like hoard it. Um, so I've been hoarding it and I haven't actually sprayed this on my face yet. So I don't have any um, conclusion on this guy yet. But let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. I'd love to hear your opinion. The other thing I did, let's just get all of these out of the way, okay? June was like, let's buy shit from brands that I don't really want to support. Um, like Kale Polish, I kind of talked about it, I don't know, a long time ago, that I wasn't really very happy with Kathleen Lights. But you guys, then she did this like Havana collection and like I couldn't say no. So I bought these three shades from her newest summer collection, which is like Havana themed. So there's this beautiful shade called uh, Matanza or something. It's like a beautiful blue. Um, this shade Mojito was gorgeous. I was wearing this on my nails before I switched to the yellow, which is called Tropicana. I um, have been trying to grow my nails and do my own nails. Sometimes I get them done, it just, you know, depending on the day. So I bought those shades, and then I bought um, Charmed, which is so gorgeous. It's like this shifty purple blue. This shade is beautiful as well. This is Ocean Drive. I've worn this um, nail color in multiple videos. And then this shade, Chloe, I haven't worn yet. As you guys can see, I'm really into green, blue nail polishes, mostly green. Hey, Maury, the cat is... Anyway, so I'm mostly into like greens, so yeah, I bought, I caved. I feel so bad, but honestly, her nail polish is actually really good quality. I did buy some of her other shades when she first launched her brand. Like I have Hug and Roll, I have uh, Carmelo, and a bunch of other colors, and I pulled out one shade um, before I got this in the mail to use it, and her polishes were in tip-top shape. Usually if I don't use a polish for a long time, it like gunks up and I, I really can't use it again. It thickens up and ain't nobody got time for that. But hers seem to have lasted really well over the year or the years. I don't know how long I've had them for. It feels like quite a while. Um, so I really like her nail polish brand. And even though I, I don't really want to support her, I feel like I've come to a place where I'm like, uh -huh. she makes really good nail polish and... Yeah, so, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm betraying myself, but she also made a kick-ass product. So, I kind of want to support and own some awesome nail polish. So that's kind of worth the splurge for me. So, you guys might have seen these in my previous haul, my big-ass haul. This is the Kevin Aquan Neo Blush, and I have the shade Sunset. Let me just show you what it looks like so you guys can see what it looks like in person because it's hard to figure out how big these are gonna be um, when you receive them. So I've made such a big dent in this one and I only just got it and I love this blush, especially for the summertime. I love how long it wears for. I'm actually wearing that blush today. And so I was like, oh, let me buy another color because I love the formula. So I bought Grape Wine, thinking it would be like, I was expecting this to be more of a berry, but it's actually more of a purple. And I actually don't like this shade. So I'm actually planning on returning this because I'm not a huge fan and these blushes are freaking expensive. I want to say they're like 30 something dollars, like 30 plus. They're not under 30, they're definitely over 30. So I'm going to keep this one for sure because I love it. Um, but this color does not vibe with me and so I think I'm going to take this back. Okay, let's talk about some palettes because I definitely bought some palettes. So the first two, you guys must have seen swatch party videos of these already. It's the ColourPop Fame and Fortune palettes. Oh, here. These were from their birthday lineup. I honestly haven't even had the time to play with these. I really need to stop buying ColourPop palettes. I just need to stop buying palettes in general and just make review videos. I know, I know, um, but yeah. Um, just like a quick first impression on these. I mean, they are nice palettes, but it's like, are they stuff like I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I ran out and spent money on that. Especially now because it seems like ColourPop will like do this big launch and then they always do like a sale or free shipping or something like a week later. So that's kind of annoying because I'm like, oh, why did I spend money 
buying something when I could have gotten a better deal on it a week later. So that's pretty annoying. Speaking of deals, I did get this guy. I'm actually kind of mad at myself because I haven't used this on my face yet. So let's do that. This is the Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighting Palette. Everyone and their mom like has like a different opinion on this guy. Some people say it's like full of glitter. Some people say it's like amazing. I mostly bought this because Terra Babies loves it so much. And she's like already panned it, I think, like one of the shades. So I was like, fuck it, let me just buy it. And so I did because it went on sale. I don't know if it's still on sale. If it is, maybe you guys want to grab it. Oh my god, I just like, I just like ate glitter. Anyway. I don't know. It's kind of fun. I'm going to play with it some more. I know people are really mad at Kat Von D right now, which I totally understand. Um, but I bought that before the whole drama. So you guys don't take it out on me. BH Cosmetics has been killing it for me the last couple of months. And I just could not get this palette out of my head. I heard Kelly Gooch talk about it. Um, she was saying she was thinking of buying this palette as one of our palettes uh, for the year. She's only buying three palettes this year, which I think is pretty much a miracle. Like, I don't know how somebody can only buy three palettes in a year, but uh, she was eyeing this and then it like planted a little seed in my head that maybe I needed this palette and I haven't used this yet. It's in my pile of like pending rainbow things to play with, um, but it's beautiful. I love the colors. There's so many shades of green, blues, again, and this section of pink is just like speaking to me. Plus this palette is like ridiculously affordable. The packaging is stunning. I love that they did like a Brazilian theme. That's so sexy and spicy and I'm into it. Okay, last thing I wanna talk about is another BH palette. This is the Aurora Lights palette. Now I didn't actually need to buy this and I did anyway. So yeah, I have it. It was affordable. They were doing free shipping. I was like, fine, I'll take it, I'll take it. So I bought it, and here it is, and I am definitely going to be testing this out and giving you guys my full review. Some of the shades definitely remind me of shades that already exist in the Zodiac palette, but uh, yeah, I've never tried one of their all-baked eyeshadow palettes before, so I was really curious. I love the packaging, I love the concept, and uh, it's super cute, so yeah, I have that as well. Okay guys, that is everything for part one of my haul for June. I hope you did enjoy it. Part two will be up soon. If it is, I will link it for you guys. Otherwise, just don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys get notified when I post and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.